Health Watch is presented by UMass Memorial Healthcare. Here, caring for you. They are going to have jitters. It's a very normal feeling, so reassure them it's okay to be nervous. Um, remind them that there are probably a lot of other students that are nervous as well. Um, and teachers know that they are anxious, and teachers do a great job of making sure that kids feel comfortable on the first day of school. Are there any concerns for filling kids' backpacks too much? What can you do to make them safer? You want to choose a backpack that's wide um, with padded shoulder straps and a padded back. That, of course, is going to ease any tension on muscles. Pack it light. Use all those little compartments. Those are great to use. And pack the heavier items closest to the center of the back. The backpack should never weigh more than 10 to 20% of the child's weight. Always have a child use both shoulder straps. That's key. Um, slinging a backpack over one shoulder can strain muscles on that side and lead to serious posture problems as well. How do you make sure they're getting proper nutrition and how do you plan their lunches accordingly? And when you pack a lunch, make sure you pack fruit, make sure you pack a, a meal that's hearty, that has protein in it, that has fiber in it. Um, and that way you know your child will have enough nutrition. The key to good learning we know is a good large breakfast. Um, and that breakfast should have a lot of fiber in it. How do you ease them back into school and get them into school mode? The first thing is after school, let them, let them relax a little bit. The best thing a child can do after school is play outside that will burn energy. It will allow them to focus better when they come back in the house to do homework. And try to try to create a space for them, a permanent workspace that's quiet in your home to do homework.